Family. I know I ain't been on here forever. Especially you subscribers have been trying to see me keep going. You know, I come in, I step out. Look, I'm back. Alright, so I'm gonna just do these every once in a while. Just just a, just an update video. What's going on in the world right now? Let's talk about it. What's going on with me? Um, hell, I'm two years removed from losing Me Mecca Wise. Y'all know who Mecca is? If you don't, please just Google Mecca Wise. You should. It's an important person, you know what I mean? Now, when I lost my wife, man, keeping this company together was like the least of my concerns. I was trying to keep myself together. You know about that? You experience anything like that in your life? If you ain't, you might. And it's real. And so, I'm a teacher. All I can do is all I can do is speak to my own reality, as I've always done, and try to advise you on the path too. So I'm just now getting in a space where I feel good enough about everything else I had to handle to where I can do that again. Forgive me if I sound a little breathy, man. I'm beating a, some kind of a bug, you know what I mean? I'm drinking healthy drinks and eating fruit right now. Uh, not drinking hypnotic, not doing that right now. Yo, but I just thought like, man, I need to talk to my folks. Like, I got people here that, that check for me that, and they check for me everywhere and they've been waiting to hear something from me and they really don't get nothing. And, and I know it's, it's challenging because, man, look at what's going on in the world. I had a business consultant tell me, the sister, she said to me, Supreme, you're at least, at least eight months behind. People panicking right now. People really feeling stressed out right now. People angry right now. When people want to do something, they don't know what to do. Barbecue or meal do supreme, what you gonna do? And um, reality is, I had to take that time. Sometimes you got to, but it's gotta be a balance. You gotta know when you just, when you're going from self care to being carefree, you know? It's nothing wrong, it, it's nothing wrong with being like uh, 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 concerned with yourself, because you should be. A lot of us are not. We're so, so concerned about handling business. You know, when Supreme Design, uh, was a thousand orders behind and we hadn't shipped out a thousand man uh, there, there was that many unshipped orders and 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 I and I went broke just to make sure that we stayed in business and we kept a good reputation because your reputation is everything while you're building your brands while you're starting your businesses right now you need to understand that your reputation and how you deal with people matters you know what I mean so and you can just imagine when when Mecca passed. Not only was I trying to keep the company, but I I was stressed out. I was crazy, man. You can imagine how many bridges I burned. You know, and we do this, we do this. We burn bridges, and then we don't think about how what, where we was at to make that happen, so we could go back to them people later and talk about yo. I was I was going through this. You know what I mean? You can either accept it or reject it, but at least you should know. And then they can deal differently. But, you know, you got to be able to be honest and talk to people. And you got to be honest with yourself. So I had to realize, like, yo, why am I doing videos? Why am I talking? Why don't, I don't want to do no speaking engagements. And I, I was realized I'm doing the right thing. I'm dealing with my babies. I had a 5-year-old and a 17-year-old. You know? They 7 and 20 now. I got a tw I got. She's not even a teen no more. I done raised a grown-up. Grown I'm 36. And I'm from, I'm from Jersey. You, you know, you know, <laughs> like, this is just a throwback for me. Like, this is just like, see, I ain't even finished it. Look at this little bottle. This is just me like walking down memory lane, really, because the, you see this behind me? This is, this is the result of how to hustle and win. This is the stuff that I talk about. This is what I, I built this house. I built all this, designed this, this Supreme Design. You know, and because I, I, I live what I talk about. Everything that I teach y'all in these books and in these videos is is what I live. So, of course, I'm supposed to be living it, but I had to live the, the mental, emotional part of what I'm teaching, too, which is like, yo, you can't suffer setbacks that break you and not grow from them. Everything's supposed to be educational. You're supposed to learn from it. What it do for you? What it, what it change you into? What it make you into? It's supposed to make you a better version of you. That's where your real competition is. Your real competition is who you was yesterday, who you was last year. You know, I'm in a whole different space than I was two years ago. It took me two years. It took me two years, and I was in denial for a long time because I didn't even realize I went through all them stages until I got to acceptance. Grief I'm talking about. And you could be grieving, and you don't even know what you're grieving. You could be grieving just because you moved. People be grieving. Grieving just de being depressed. 
just a sense of loss. It's just a sense of not being happy with what is, you know? Because I was, man, that was my partner. That was my best friend, you know? She, I mean, she's still my best friend, like, because there's a mental relationship that you build when you marry with someone and you live with somebody. A lot of people don't know that, you know? A lot of people ain't never experienced that. So for those of you that have experienced it, you got to realize you're blessed because, man, it's a lot you go through when, you, when you're building something with somebody and, 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 that's, and, and then two become one. People that that's a real mathematical experience, you know what I mean, for you to know that. So you know, if you know that, you gotta you gotta be able to wherever you at, you gotta be able to teach that to others that don't know, because there's a lot of people that don't know. A lot of people think they're getting their love, they're just getting it infatuation, they're getting it uh, validation, because you ain't got your own you know your own parking pass on this planet ain't validated. You think somebody else gotta validate it for you, and that ain't that ain't the way. That ain't the way. One thing I'm glad about is I ain't stressed too much about. <clears throat> Let me stop lying. I did stress. I stressed about whether or not I was getting to y'all because I have been behind. And I haven't really... Man, I ain't wrote a book since when? 2012? Look at all was going on. Look at all was going on. You know what I mean? And I've been teaching, you know, don't trust. Trust and know. Like, I put my influence into the influences. I talk to great men and make them greater, you know, and women too. That's my whole goal. So through the little ripples that I put out there, they turn into tidal waves. And, and I'm thankful for that because... There's change in the world. I can name so many names, but it's I inevitably offend a dozen people by not naming their names. But, you know, I'm just thankful that even from behind the veil, I've been able to be helpful because I'm just a servant. You know, we talk a lot about being God uh, in, in this modern era now. And what we need to understand is that God ultimately is a servant of humanity. Real shit. So here I am back on post. What's the latest? What's the updates? What's happening? I mean... I guess we're going to talk about it. You know, I just want to let y'all know, here I am. Like, supreme understanding. I got a DVD coming. It's going to be on um, the science of nature as therapy for anxiety and depression because we need that. Um, it's a little funny. You know, it's, you, you'll see it soon. Uh, there's some books coming out. You know, a lot of the books that you've been waiting for, Black People Invented Everything, A Sucker Born Every Minute, uh, 95 Ways to Get Paid Without a 9 to 5, a book on self-publishing called What Happened to Your Book. Um, put out. A, got, I got. A, I got a long list of books that I got to give to you, and they're all available in eBooks. Because I, I wasn't doing the digital thing. I wanted to be a dinosaur. I wanted to preserve this. Cause your paper, man. Look, I'm about to knock everything over up here. Paper is an amazing thing. Cause when you walk around, that's why they. That's why you know when they. They want people to have books like this so that you can sit on the bus with it and you can hold it out and people can look at it and ask you what's that about and then you start a conversation. They may not even want the book. They just may want to talk to a person that read books. You know, you can't tell somebody on their phone. And ain't nobody going to pass you their phone to check out their book. Not nowadays. Not on the train. You know? That's why it's the purpose of having things like this, too. I ain't even... This is actually for Nalani. Favorite moment of the day journal. You know? It's a good thing to write as well as to read. You know, we, I want to get people back into that because you got to be back into using your hands. You're going to have to learn how to farm again. You're going to have to learn how to build things again. You're going to have to learn how to construct again and design again. You're going to have to learn how to do a lot of things to survive the times that's coming. I mean, it's just some real changes coming. Fortunately, though, those with knowledge is going to be blessed. But you're going to be called into leadership positions to serve those that don't have the knowledge. So you're going to have to get over yourself. Because some of y'all got a little arrogant in getting this knowledge, you know. I'm thankful that you got it now. You know what I mean? I've been putting in work for a long time to see this day. I'm thankful. But, you know, you can't be arrogant now because that's how the angels fail. You know, they just, you know, you can't be thinking you're so good that you ain't pro probably to don't do fuck shit. Because you do fuck shit too. You know what I mean? I got motherfucking fruit here. I always got my ash right here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's. What it is, is you got to be honest about how you live, you know? And the thing is, you got to be honest with who first? Yourself. So I just want to be a, a, a real transparent person so that you could be empowered to do the same with yourself, with your loved ones, and, and, and get away from the arrogance of thinking that a little bit of knowledge makes you better. Because a little bit of knowledge don't make you not a jerk. A little bit of knowledge, because you could still be a jerk. And the real knowledge is finding what make you not want to be a jerk so that you could really help people and be a service to people in an effective way rather than keep on coming home, back home and saying, damn, another battle lost. I, I tried to win. Because everything is a battle. Don't it feel like it? You're trying to win over such and such, trying to win over them, trying to make this happen, trying to see this to fruition. And then you keep coming home with no victories to declare. Who want to live like that? That's why I publish textbook curriculums. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because people need guides. 
if from somebody that's walking the path, from somebody that actually take their time to stuff. Like as you see, from you know these this book collection, like what. Like, I have books everywhere because I'm studying for the sake of passing on the knowledge. And I condense it. I make it easy to digest. I make it easy to understand. And more, most importantly, I do what none of the books really do, which is I make it so that you could do it. Now what you going to do with it? Then it's on you. Barbecue or mildew. You know? So I'm on the same thing. I, I got to get back to work. I figured the least I could do is get back to doing videos like this. Why not? I got, the, I got the ability. I just, look, I just really didn't want to for a long time. That's all it was. I just kept putting it off. But now here I am. So love y'all. Leave me a comment. Talk to me. Tell me what you think. You no? Know? And I'll be back at you more often. Peace.